Good afternoon, everyone. We're joined by Ollie from Children's Hospice Southwest and by Lee Brown, who's Bristol Rovers ambassador for that very deserving charity. Now, here to tell us about a bucket collection next week at Oxford. Lee, it's important, isn't it? We raise funds for this very important charity. Yeah, it's a fantastic cause. I went down to um, visit the hospice um, back end of last season, and it's a it's a it's a great setup. What they do down there is phenomenal. Um, so any any spare change that you can bring to the Oxford game will be greatly received and if you can please please bring. Well we've already done some fundraising for you I think with a run back in the summer how did that go? Yeah it all started actually with Paul Hughes uh, the academy uh, director is that right? Paul Hughes the academy director and he um, no what is he? Official job club. Um, lead foundation coach. Like that. Uh, it all started with Paul Hughes, the lead foundation coach. Uh, he came in off the street and uh, he wanted to start a partnership with the whole the, the football club. So he came in and did the Rainbow Run, which is a big event that we have in the summer. Uh, and loads, about 167, I think, from the academy took part. They've raised over six grand already. And it's just a really good way to start the, the season off and the partnership off, really. So with the bucket collection as well, it's going to be a really good start. Should be a good attendance at Oxford. So you're hoping for a big amount of money to be contributed, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. So if anyone's watching this, please spread the word that we're going to be here. And, you know, more, more money, the better. So, yeah, big attendance, hopefully boost that target up for everyone concerned. Brian, are you... Is it important, do you feel, for Rovers to be associated with a charity such as Children's Hospital South? Yeah, I think it was a massive eye-opener um, when I went down there, and I think it's very important that Bristol Rovers give something back, you know, and if people can, then, it, then it's massive because, it, it, as I say, it's, a, it's, it's very greatly received and it's a fantastic cause what they're doing down there. And I believe you have another visit planned later in the year, don't you, to go Yeah, down? yeah, I'm going to try and go down there as much as I can. Um, as I say, it really touched me when I went down there back in the last season. So uh, if I really push, if anyone can bring anything they can, it, it'd be, as I say, greatly received. And as a parent yourself, you must feel for the parents of those children there. Yeah, it's, it was. It's tough as I was speaking to you guys down there. It was, it's, it's heartbreaking, you know. But what they do down there is they put on a great, great facility, a great support, and um, it it really does help the families out. As I, as I see when I went down there. Only collection next week. I gather as a check presentation later in the season. Is that right? Yeah, it is against the, the Rochdale game. So uh, we're going to do a check pres about what we've collected on the buckets and for the Rainbow Run, all the money that added together. And um, we've got a Bristol Rovers family as well that's coming down that's, that we support us. So they use the hospice and um, they're going to come on down at half time and and get accept the check from you guys. And I believe we're putting a press release out this week, a joint press release with yourselves. So the message to Rovers fans is please bring any spare change, give whatever you can next week. Yeah, absolutely. There's information in the programme as well, so if they want to know more about us as a charity, you know, feel free to have a look at that and you'll find all about us.